Thanks for visiting our website, rebuilderinabox.com. Today we're going to be rebuilding the 3G alternator, most popular on Ford, from 91 through 99. Some units are used up until present day. Here we have the two different sizes and the two most popular units. The larger one is off the Ford truck, the high amp, and the smaller one is off of Ranger, popular on the 2.3 liter. The Ford 3G comes in two different sizes, the 130 amp and the 95 amp. These are easily recognizable by the two holes that are in the spokes. You can see the three sets of spokes and inside the two ribs, which makes up one spoke, is two holes. That's the high amp. Over here you can see the three sets of spokes. Inside the one set of ribs is four holes. <clears throat> that makes it the low amp, the 95 amp. Even though most of the parts differ as far as physical size, they are similar in the way that they are tore down and rebuilt. And there are some parts that actually interchange, like the voltage regulator, brushes, bearings. First we're going to be taking the pulley off with a half inch impact and a 15 16 socket. Take a rag and wrap it around the pulley. <laughs> then turn the alternator over and you'll see the voltage regulator right here, this gray thing. There's four T20 Torx heads holding it on. Take those four bolts out. Then we're going to lift up on the outside part of the regulator and pull it back out. Then looking down into the center of the alternator where the two brushes ride, there's where one rides, there's where the bottom one rides, we have what is known in electrical diagnosis as the aha moment. That means that you found what the problem is. You can see this brush up here where it was contacting still has copper left but down below where it's burnt black and there's a this ring is darker than the other one then you know that's where your problem was and that's where the brush was failing. Then you'll see the three bolts with the 516 head that need to come out. Now we want to remove this rear plate by tapping backward. If there's a plastic extension post on here, you have to pop the lid off that and take the nut off to remove the extension post that comes on with some of these. This one doesn't have one. You'll see the red battery post in here, the, the plastic insulator for the red battery post, that just pops right out. You don't necessarily have to put that back in there, uh, because if you have the post, the extension post that I talked about just a second ago, you won't have that. Now uh, we're about to do probably the most challenging part of the rebuild and that's get the rear, the front plate off of the stator assembly. You have to take one of the through bolts and put it in there and then you can bake it in an oven for uh, three 
150 degrees, 300 to 350 for about 20 minutes, or you can use a propane torch and you want to heat up the sides of it all the way around the aluminum part of the outside diameter. heating about like that for probably about five minutes all the way around evenly and then start tapping on the sides You can hear and see how hard I'm hitting it. You don't want to smash it. Just tap on it briskly. And what that does is it forces the stator windings to come out of the aluminum front plate. So what we're going to do is just opposite. And this, this alternator, this particular one, we're using it because it's one of the most common ones. It's on the F series pickup trucks. The two ears are on the bottom and you have to drive this aluminum housing off evenly. So what we have to do is, opposite of the two ears, put a bolt in, one of the through bolts in, up at the top. Screw it down in a little ways, then you can use that to tap on, because we're going to hold on to the back half of it, this part of the black, and then tap straight off with the hammer on the other side. Tap a little bit on one end, and then tap on the other end. Then soon you start to see the stator appear out of the aluminum housing and that's when you know it's starting to come out and there's everything disassembled the uh, stator rectifier where all the diodes are is an assembly these are all soldered together the rotor that we have to put a new slip ring on the back plate the front plate and the voltage regulator brush holder assembly You'll see the bearing in the front plate with the bearing cover and the 3 5 16 bolts holding them in. Take those out. Sometimes they break. As long as you got one good one, we'll show you what to do. If you're having trouble getting it apart, you can spray your rust bust down onto the shaft. That'll help get the shaft out of the bearing. So now we have the bearing cover off and the three bolts removed. Turn it upside down, get a 3 8 extension and a hammer and tap the bearing out. What I did as I was tapping it out is I took a couple taps on one side and then moved it over and took a couple taps and take it around that inner circle to push it out evenly. You can see the corrosion on the inner part of the front frame. You need to take a piece of sandpaper and sand that all out. Then take white lithium grease and spread it around that edge so that more corrosion cannot occur. Also, the corrosion 
came from this dissimilar metal 